Hi. <coughs> so uh, let's look at this problem. A lake filled with water has a depth h. Pipe of length uh, slightly less than h lies at the bottom of the lake. It contains an ideal gas filled up to a length of h by 10. Uh, so here uh, length is h by 10 so that means uh, I mean uh, liquid will get into the space and at this stage say let, let this be stage 1 so at this stage pressure of the gas is P1 and what's P1 equal to P1 is equal to if you neglect the atmospheric pressure say it, neglect atmospheric pressure so P1 is equal to h rho g fine next uh, smooth light movable piston keeps the gas in place now the pipe is slowly raised to vertical position as shown in the next figure that means this figure assume that temperature of the gas remains constant and neglect atmospheric pressure well we have neglected atmospheric pressure else p1 pressure would have been p0 atmospheric pressure plus h rho g okay see temperature remains constant that means uh, we can apply Boyle's law so in this first stage what is the volume let the cross section of the pipe be a so a multiplied by h by 10 now uh, final stage that is stage 2 state 2 of the gas uh, the pressure is equal to uh, this h minus y rho g pressure is equal to h minus y rho g and uh, sorry yeah that will be p2 final stage and what will be v2 v2 final volume will be a multiplied by y okay oh now uh, let's see what has been asked here plot the variation of pressure inside the lake as a function pressure inside the lake pressure of water inside the lake right so if you uh, say let's pressure be p and that's y so obviously pressure will vary like this right that uh, maximum pressure is h rho g when y is equal to zero that means just at the bottom and pressure is equal to zero when y is equal to h just at the top uh, so that's the answer to this part of the question that is plot the variation of pressure inside the lake pressure inside the lake means i think uh, they are surely asking about pressure of water plot the variation of gas pressure as a function of y while gas pressure as a function of y uh, is obviously see the volume of the gas is equal to a times y so that will be a rectangular hyperbola right that uh, so uh, that's actually the gas follows Boyle's law so p times volume equal to constant volume is simply a y so this is done part a part a done part b in the equilibrium uh, uh, using this solve for equilibrium height y naught of the piston uh, so we'll apply this p1 v1 equal to p2 v2 that means applying Boyle's law and this p1 v1 of this p2 v2 now uh, we have to solve for y so that's why is this y not obviously as you see we'll uh, have quadratic equation so h rho g multiplied by a times h by 10 happens to be equal to h minus y uh, rho g multiplied by a times y uh, some terms will cancel out uh, rho g a rho g a will cancel out so therefore you get here h square equal to 10 h y minus 10 y square that means uh, here so 10 y square minus 10 h y plus h square is equal to 0 so by solving this uh, quadratic equation you get value of y and which y is acceptable obviously one of the values of y will not be acceptable so y is equal to minus uh, b plus minus root over of 
b square minus 4ac divided by 2a that is 20 so this is so the plus sign will not be acceptable because uh, the uh, so value of y will then be greater than h so therefore the correct value will be we have to neglect this root plus root so that's the correct value this is the correct value of y so that's y not actually they have been asked uh, they have asked use this to solve for the equilibrium height y not so this value is that of y not 